What's up, love? So this video is going to be a tutorial slash review on a wig from RPG Show that I just got in the mail. I am going to have to do a little bit of tweaking to this wig, um, only because the color is a little brassy to me. So I will be showing on camera how I am going to make the wig look a little bit more toned down. So this one here is their XC001-S, which is that pretty Afrocentric natural look. So RPG Show has stepped it up a lot of notches with different looks, total different revamp website, designers for hair and so forth so I'm loving what they did new with their website so this one here is 16 inches excuse me is 14 inches and this is the color that I received in it now it does have a um, glue it is a glueless cap so there are combs inside as well as the adjustable strap in the back um, you can part this anywhere you want but I'm not really so happy with the actual color as well as the scent so the smell smells like chemicals that they use to actually process the hair and as you can see and you probably really can't see on camera so well but it is more or less kind of like an orangish tone brassy color. So with that being said I wanted to tone it down because I really don't care for the brassy look too much. I'm really not going for that look. So I decided I'm going to go ahead and get one of my favorite products which is the Wella T14. Um, toner this you can pick up anywhere like at Sally's or beauty supply stores it's like four bucks four ninety nine a box the t14 is the actual pale ash blonde and this one here which is the t14 is the strongest formula for toning in the Weller toner line if you're trying to take out all those brassy tones then t14 is really good for that if you want blondes you know especially if it's an orange brassy tone the t14 is good for that i do use like their blondes but i use them on different colors if i want a different come out you want to use this with a 20 developer and you want to use one part Wella toner and two parts developer so what i do to make it a lot easier um because i'm not really that great with measurements is I will empty the bottle into my bowl and then I'll fill up this bottle twice once I went ahead and emptied it so that way I know I've got the right measurements as for being 20 developer I always use 20 developer but I will use like if say I have to use one box of toner I'm going to use one and three quarters of 20 developer and then I'm going to use a quarter of 30 developer that's just what I do because it also processes the hair so it lightens it up a little bit so that's just what I like to do and I'll do that so that way the roots are a little bit lighter and not so dark um, if you guys understand what I'm saying so yeah you guys let's get on to the tutorial for this hair and all right you guys so it's time to start this process so I'm going to be using two boxes of the Wella toner color charm in the color t14 along with that I'm going to be using some salon pro and 20 developer as well as I'm going to be using some 30 developer you will need a mixing bowl and a mixing brush and some gloves too so I'm pouring the first bottle of the toner into my mixing bowl and now the second bottle so it is one part toner and two parts developer so I'm going to be putting in a total of four bottles of developer so on my third bottle I only use about I use on my fourth bottle excuse me I will only use like a three quarters of 20 and a quarter of 30 because I just want a little hint of color just to make the, the roots a little bit darker um, you don't have to do this it does say to just use 20 developer but I like to use at least a quarter of the 30 developer depending on how many bottles of toner I'm using so as you can see this hair is kind of brassy and orange it really is very brassy and orange um, and unfortunately you can't see it like that on camera but just a little bit of toner will help the hair is not as thick as like um, a wig that I would create so two bottles would do just fine and as you can see it's kind of like sudsing up in the hair I have never seen that um, whenever I make a wig and toner I've never seen like little bubble suds or soap suds in it so it may have to do with a product or chemical that was actually placed in the hair before I got my hands onto it and it probably wasn't rinsed out properly 
So what I'm going to do is just flip it over as you've seen and I'm just going to continue with the process combing it through. I'm going to make sure that I use all this toner in this hair because I really don't want it to go to waste. I was going to initially use only one box of toner but a good thing that I used two. So now I'm going to wrap it up in the plastic and allow it to sit for 45 minutes so that it can process. As you can see it's all done and I'm going to be using the generic shimmer light shampoo to just help it out a little bit more. Okay you guys so this hair looks a whole lot better after I've toned it. If you can tell it has more of a golden brown color instead of that brassy orange color that it was given off. This color gives it more of a more toned and natural look and there are com some some highlights of like a little bit of blonde in it but I think it came out really really well after I toned it. This is a lot more better than what it appeared to be so as well as that the smell is also gone and like I said I think it was from the chemicals that they used in the actual hair to process it and color it and what I noticed when I was actually toning it as the hair started sudsing up like bubble suds soap suds I'm pretty sure it was probably something that was in the hair maybe I should have rinsed it first washed it first prior to toning it but it didn't harm the hair at all the hair is now a lot a lot softer than what it was actually before and it's just a lot more curlier so I went ahead and cut the lace off of the unit it does have the three combs in the front and the adjustable strap in the back and the nape area so it is time to put this baby on and see what she is all about Okay, you guys, so this is the XC001-S. This is, of course, a lace wig, a full lace wig. So you can part her any way you want. But being that I didn't have to part her because I wanted that bang look, the way she was advertised on RPGshow.com, I didn't have to put any concealer. I didn't have to fight with a part. I didn't have to worry about making sure my wig was, uh, my wig cap was straight or anything like that. All I had to do was put her on. And that's what I like about this one a lot is if I don't want to do a part in her, I don't have to. It just makes it a lot easier. So when you get a wig from any company and it's like orangey, brassy tones, just tone it. Just tone it. Don't feel like you're subjected to wearing an orange brassy tone wig. But other than that, RPG Show did a really great job on the construction of this wig. It's a really pretty length, color, texture, style, everything. This is 14 inches and it is the same color as pictured. Well, not anymore because I did use the Wella Toner in T14. So if you guys happen to get this one in the same color as pictured, get yourself some Wella Toner in T14 and the color will come out just like this. The hair is still soft. It's not harsh or scratchy or hay-like. It's really even softer than when it was. I used a deep conditioner on it. So after I toned it and used my Sally, um, Sally Beauty Supply Store Shimmer Lights brand, which is like the purple shampoo, I did use this here. You can pick this up at on Amazon.com. This is the Pure Body Naturals Argan Oil Hair Mask. You can leave this in for like 5-10 minutes. This is some really great stuff. I've noticed like really soft hair when I've used this product. And what I just used just now is my Cream of Nature Styling Mousse. This is their Argan Oil Styling Mousse. Ladies, this stuff is like the best, okay? Yes, you guys, check out RPGshow.com. They also have a new website, which is called My First Wig. And that site is their sister site, which comes with many, many amenities when you order a wig. So I'll post that link for you guys down below as well. And if you're interested in this unit, I'll post the information for you guys as well as that. So as always, stay diva and divolicious. Make sure you rate, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think of this unit. And as always, I'll see you guys on my next video.